And welcome back guys, GVids here. Uh, today's video we're back on Need for Speed Heat and we're gonna go over which is better the turbo or the supercharger. Now the dual turbo oh, that packs a very good punch uh, in real life and the game. Uh, within the game it actually does improve your stats um, to the full extent um, using the turbocharger. Um, but we're going to go out and we're just going to run it through a couple of small tests. I'm not saying these are uh, foolproof. I'm just trying to use some of the things where it calculates our speed and I'll try to mark my spot at the same spot as where we are so we kind of can judge uh, which is a little bit faster and which is not. Uh, I have the highest supercharger that we can get or buy on my car right now. Uh, the two other ones are more geared towards the lower range, but we're not going to get into those on this video. Uh, we're just going to concentrate on the two highest levels of the turbo and the supercharger. So right now I have the supercharger in the car, uh, the Q60S, a very sexy car. I've driven one in real life and they're very fun. Anyways, um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, Superchargers is in the car right now. Um, if you cannot hear the whine, which I absolutely love in the game, that's one of the reasons why I've been using the Supercharger is from the sound. Um, it is a very nice sound when you're ripping it. You can really hear it when it kicks in. But uh, it may be a little bit slower. We don't know yet. We're just going to find that out right now, and maybe how much. So I'm just going to use a few uh, spots around the map, kind of so I can judge the generally go in the same spot. Uh, these spots may be familiar with you. I'm just going to use these jumps and um, speed traps, I guess you may want to call them, to trap our speeds. So that way it's easier. As long as I line up in the generally the same spot, um, it should be a pretty good tell um, if one is quicker or not. So nothing nothing too crazy for tests, just a few little pulls here and there. I'm just going to do one forward from here and one back. Uh, pretty much the same distance from each other. I'm not going to use any NOS during these tests. So 150, 156 kilometers per hour from that. Very short little pull. Uh, this car doesn't uh, take off super fast. It likes to kind of bounce off the first two to three gears before it actually kicks in. But that's okay. Now, this is a little bit farther distance, but uh, pretty much the same. Just to get a general idea of the short distance pulls. 173 on the way back. So you guys should remember these. I'll also remember them. I actually wrote them down because I have a horrible memory. So the last spot is a little bit of a drive, so I'll just uh, pop over there right now. And this one here is just a little straightaway. Um, hopefully no cars get in the way. I'm trying to make sure I can pretty much do it the same. I was thinking of doing it with races, um, but there's lots of variables in a race. Um, so this way is pretty much a straight line and there isn't too many things to uh, change it from each run. Uh, hopefully no one gets in our way. Blast down the street as fast as we can go. No NOS. I really, really love that wine, and of course, something has to get in our way. That's okay, we'll do it again. This time we'll get a solid pull, hopefully. And I love that wine. As soon as about fourth gear kicks in, uh, you can really hear it from like the five to six thousand or five to seven thousand RPMs. Very nice sound. I love it. Now a lot of people like the sound of the turbo. I don't really hear it a whole lot while driving. It's more, um, more when you're letting off gas or in between gear changes, you'll hear the, the let go of the turbo kind of thing. Let's give her another whirl. Hopefully, no one gets in our way. Get some pretty good speed. With adjustments, not too bad. 299 kilometers per hour there. So let's go and slap the turbo on the car now. Get your own place. Don't listen to him. And see if it uh, increases our times. I think it will because in the stats it does make it a little bit better. Uh, those other ones are more of the lower gears. 
I don't find them as powerful uh, when I have used them. So let's go ahead and put the dual turbocharger on. And then go back out to where we just were. I'll uh, go a little bit faster here for footage wise. Oh, excuse me. Oh, cars are in my way now. Oh, of course, more cars in my way now. Where the hell am I going? Alright. I'm just trying to go off memory. I'm uh, still not familiar with the map. I try to stick to one city at a time, or one part of the city at a time. Uh, that way you kind of learn it, and then move on to the next. But, uh, I think I'm in that. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. So let's go right ahead, and I've slowed down the footage again. Back to regular time. Should be in the same spot here. Pretty much the same, not off by much. Same pole. And again, no NOS, so this is a dual turbocharger now. Let's see if it increases our speed at all throughout these small little runs. First one is 165, and our last one was actually 156. So there's a uh, almost a, there's a nine kilometer increase there. the second run. There we go. And 177. And our first one was 173, so there's only a 4 kilometer difference there. But uh, there's definitely faster, which uh, over the long runs, those times would definitely add up. Now let's move on to the last spot here. Give us a longer run. Almost there. I like to try to drive as much as you can around the cities as well. It definitely um, helps you learn it. Because the more you learn the city, um, the easier it is to get away from the cops. I spent some time just cruising around and hitting up some alleyways and finding some jumps and definitely helps out uh, when you're doing your chasing. I'm level 50 so I'm pretty much just doing the heated races right now um, to collect my ultimate parts which I think I've only got a few more to get uh, and then I'm all set there and then I can start grinding on some money and um, start buying some cars. Because right now, this is my only car. It's the Q60. Absolutely love this car. That's why I chose to buy it first. Plus, I uh, I have the car that you see getting in your way all the time in real life. Oh my god. Why do they just stop there? Horrible driving skills in this game. People are... It's just ridiculous. I guess it's not too far off from real life. People don't know how to drive in most cases. This guy here decides I'm going to stop in the middle of an intersection for no apparent reason. But that's alright. We'll get another run here. Just like the first time. We had to do it a few times. Let's get it going. She's going quick. I think, uh, oh yeah, definitely faster. 307. And the first one was 299. That is uh, quite the difference there. But anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's a little bit of a long one here, but I just wanted to briefly go over some of the differences. Not really the differences, even. Uh, there is no mechanical skill lessons in this uh, testing whatsoever. Purely in-game test. Um, so far, the dual dual the dual turbocharger definitely came out on top. Um, overall she is definitely faster but it's not done by much so if you love the sound of that whine from the supercharger it's completely personal choice pick what you want guys and have a good time playing the game uh, make sure you guys share like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all in the next one Peace.